all right today we'll be creating audio transcript using amazon transcribe so we'll be basically uploading our web file which is on my local computer and then uh, we'll be uploading to cloud that is s3 and then uh, the audio file will be uh, translated into the text so this is the call center uh, kind of scenario i've already explained on uh, aws generative ai course that is the next level but for this basic level let's focus on this so let's uh, go back to the aws console so first things first we need to upload the file so we'll type s3 here so let's upload our file uh, input file that is web file which is on my local computer currently which looks something like this shop order so this is our uh, web file and we need to upload it on the cloud now so let's click on create bucket to create one fresh s3 bucket let's give a unique name for the bucket please make sure to choose a region aws region you can uh, choose the region from the top as well um, the name should be globally unique so please make sure to choose a name we'll leave everything as default uh, for this tutorial let's click on create bucket so our bucket got created we got the success message here let's close this i'll open our s3 bucket and here we need to upload uh, the object from my local computer i'll click on upload and then i need to select the files i'll click on add files so now let's browse from our local computer by clicking on add files so now let's browse our file our shop order file let's double click on it let's check mark this i'll go down and click on upload let's wait for a file this um, got succeeded let's uh, close this um, we got our web file that is from our local computer to AWS cloud that is on uh, cloud guru mode transcribe bucket so now um, let us duplicate this tab now let's open amazon transcribe so i can uh, write transcribe here so we'll get this amazon transcribe let's click here so next on the left hand side we have the transcription job let's create one job here i'll click here now let's click on create job here we need to give a name for our job let's give a name so after giving the name of the job we can choose the specific language for me i know i have spoken in english because that's my voice so i can select the language there are other options as well if you think um, you uh, knew the language of the speaker you can choose here so this is a very good example of the uh, call center demo uh, which we can use if you're unsure about the language you can also select automatic language identification this is um, one of the good part um, so for for our tutorial we know it's english so let's uh, leave as it is next we need to uh, choose the input file location on s3 remember we have done in our previous step uploaded the file from our local computer on s3 so this is it so we next we need to browse it we need to get inside our s3 bucket that is um, amit uh, cloud guru amit transcribe here we need to select our wave file shop order dot wave which is nothing but this file i have, I have selected and we will uh, click on choose so this is the location looks good i'll go down i'll uh, you can give tags as well if you have multiple environments like development uh, these are key value pairs right for now we'll leave as it is go to next uh, I'll, I'll i'll not explain all this for now because this is a basic i've explained this in my aws generative ai tutorial or the course let's go to um, create job let's wait for a while uh, the job is created we can see the message here and its status in progress it will take around our 20 to 30 seconds so till then let's uh, dive into the architecture diagram so here i am the user i have uploaded the dot wave file that is the uh, shop order file uh, from my local computer to s3 bucket then i have used amazon transcribe job uh, to upload uh, to uh, process the audio file and translate into the relevant text so let's um, go back to the AWS console once again all right our job got succeeded completed so let's open our uh, job and if we scroll down here we'll get whatever has spoken in the dot uh, wave file that is our audio file so this is um, what i've spoken uh, in the audio so there are uh, also uh, audio identification features so the subtitles toxicity detection uh, many things are um, there as well but for this tutorial since we are just getting started with generative ai so this is a good start yep so we are done uh, with this tutorial so thank you so much let's meet again in next part of 
this series all right let's look at this question it's about llm chatbot and we need to select the most cost effective solution so we'll first look at option a option a says attach the contents of the single technical manual pdf to each customer query request to ensure the llm has the relevant information for generating responses this approach is not scalable and can be inefficient for handling multiple queries hence incorrect let's move to option b b says attach the contents of all technical manual pdfs to each customer query request to ensure the llm has all available information for generating responses this method is highly inefficient and can lead to excessive data transfer and processing cost as per the question since we need to minimize the cost or design the most cost effective solution this is not the perfect fit so we'll reject this let's move to option c c says fine tune the llm with data extracted from the technical manual pdfs to enhance its ability to provide accurate response fine tuning is costly and uh, time consuming let's eliminate this option we are left out with option d it says use reg system by indexing all technical manual pdfs and configuring the llm chatbot to reference this system for answering queries this approach is cost effective as it allows the llm to access relevant information on demand without the need for excessive data processing or fine tuning that being said it is the correct answer okay let's look at this question it's about analyzing the sentiment from a recorded phone conversation it can be like a um, support center or call center use case scenario we have uh, tested this in the uh, hands on practically on my aws gen ai uh, course so let's um, now check this theoretically now as well and we have done the hands on as well um, uh, here in this uh, right so let's uh, focus on first option a a says use amazon recognition and amazon transcribe recognition uh, if you note is used for image and video analysis and not for sentiment analysis as required by the question so that being said recognition is the odd one out so we'll reject this now let's look at option b and d together b and d options contain amazon translate so if we read option b it says use amazon translate and amazon comprehend comprehend is good enough but uh, if we read next uh, option d it says use amazon transcribe and amazon translate so again amazon transcribe looks good but amazon translate is a problem why because amazon translate is used for language translation and not for sentiment analysis as required by the question so wrong choice we are left out with option c and it says use amazon transcribe and amazon comprehend so amazon transcribe can convert audio recorded from phone conversation to text and then amazon comprehend can perform sentiment analysis on the text so that is the goal of the question right so this is the correct answer okay now let's look at this question it's all about improving operational efficiency so we'll first look at option a ac is implementing agents for amazon bedrock agents can be trained to monitor and analyze data as well as make recommendations aligning with the company's requirement so let's park this option we'll move to option b b says setting up guardrails for amazon bedrock guardrails are used for policy and compliance and not for operational efficiency recommendations so wrong answer let's move to option c c says utilizing watermark detection for amazon bedrock watermark detection is used to identify and uh, track digital content and not for inventory management what is uh, required by the question so let's eliminate this let's move to option d d says creating knowledge bases for amazon bedrock knowledge bases are used for storing and retrieving information not for automating uh, monitoring and recommendations required by the uh, question so we'll reject this we are left with option a and it is the correct answer let's bring the a to the snow it's all about prediction we'll first look at option a 
this is amazon forecast as the name suggests amazon forecast is designed to provide accurate time series prediction making it ideal for forecasting demands such as uh, foot traffic or uh, uh, like uh, visitor counts so we'll park this option let's park this we'll move to option b b says amazon siege maker feature store amazon siege maker feature store is used for storing and managing machine learning features not for forecasting or predicting as required by the equation so hence incorrect let's move to option c now c says amazon lex amazon lex is used for building conversational interfaces not for um, like uh, predictions or forecasting so let's eliminate this we will move to option d now d says amazon personalize personalize is used for creating personalized recommendation so as the name suggests personalize mean personalized recommendations and uh, it's definitely personalized is not meant for predicting or forecasting uh, what is required by the question so wrong answer so we'll lock option a amazon forecast as the correct answer all right all right now let's look at some uh, real world classifications you so you might have received uh, spam messages if you are using email so that is what the uh, real world implementation of it so let's uh, first look at option a he says the company should use accuracy which measures the proportion of correctly predicted instances both true positives and true negatives out of the total number of instances accuracy directly measures the overall percentage of correct predictions so let's park this option we'll move to option d b says the company should use root mean squared error also known as rmse a metric that calculates the square root of the average of the square differences between predicted and actual values so rmse that is root mean um, squared error is used for a regression task and not for a classification task like uh, predicting this kind of things like uh, the spam and these things uh, right so uh, this is out let's move to option c c says the company should use r squared a um that uh, and after that it's the definition of r squared you can have a read so for r squared r squared is also we know is used for a regression task and not for classification task just like option b so again wrong answer let's now move to option d d says the company should use f1 score f1 score is useful for imbalanced data sets but does not directly measure the overall percentage of uh, correct predictions what is required by the question so we'll eliminate this as well we are left out with option a and it is the correct answer so we got a brainstorming question related to amazon personalize so the, it will test your concepts on amazon personalize so we'll first look at option a it says provide recommendations looks good for similar items for to a specified product amazon personalize is designed to generate personalized recommendation which includes suggesting items similar to a specified product so this can be the potential answer let's park this let's move to option b b says identify and extract layout elements such as paragraphs titles and list from documents this functionality is not within the scope of amazon personalize so let's remove this we'll now move to option c c says deliver an accurate and user-friendly enterprise search service powered by machine learning amazon personalize focuses on recommendations and not on uh, enterprise search services uh, what is uh, mentioned here enterprise search service so this is wrong i will reject this now let's move to option d d says offer personalized experiences for mobile subscriber activities like sim card activation adding a phone line purchasing prepaid cards or requesting a service change amazon personalize is primarily used for generating product recommendations and not for managing mobile subscriber activities so we'll reject this option we are left out with option a and it is the correct answer all righty now so it's about real life scenario that is identifying uh, license number plates so this is uh, what uh, the uh, traffic officers uh, do uh, the automation kind of thing so we will tackle this scenario here so let's first look at option a a says amazon text track amazon text track is focused on extracting text from documents and not on analyzing live traffic images as 
required by the question so we'll uh, reject this let's move to option b b c is amazon siege maker jumpstart amazon siege maker jumpstart is a hub for various models but not uh, specialized for uh, real-time image analysis of traffic just imagine the scenario like uh, two vehicle uh, two wheeler vehicle uh, is passing the streets and it uh, broke some kind of like traffic lights uh, let's say it's red light and it's jumped so we need to analyze some real-time uh, image at that time so amazon siege maker jumpstart is not the right product for it so we'll reject this let's move to option c cc is amazon recognition amazon recognition is specially designed to analyze images and videos making it ideal for detecting and reading license number plates so let's park this let's move to option d d says amazon siege maker image classification algorithm while amazon siege maker image classification algorithm can classify images but it isn't uh, designed uh, for reading number plates for the vehicles so we'll uh, reject this we are left with option c recognition amazon recognition and it is the correct answer all right this looks interesting it's about extracting text so this should be easy since uh, we have done hands-on for uh, this kind of things so we'll first look at option a this is amazon transcribe amazon transcribe is used for converting speech to text and not for extracting text from documents what is required by the question so we'll reject this let's move to option b b says amazon recognition amazon recognition is used for image and video analysis and not for extracting text from documents so wrong answer so we'll now move to option c c says amazon text track amazon text track is specifically designed to extract text and data from scanned documents such as receipts and invoices so let's park this we'll move to option d this is amazon comprehend comprehend uh, is used for natural language processing tasks nlp such as sentiment analysis and entity recognition but definitely comprehend cannot help in extracting text from documents what the question is looking for so wrong answer let's check out this in the official documentation it's mentioned amazon text track automatically extract just note this word extract printed text handwritings layout elements and data from any document so we have used text track on my like um, gen ai uh, course as well so if you want to get a hold of this how this works it's very interesting you can check out my ews gen ai course which includes complete end-to-end hands-on for architectures in the interest of time we'll lock amazon text Tract as the correct answer all righty now this question is all about business intelligence and dashboards interesting question we'll look at option a first he says amazon q integrated with within connect amazon q integrated uh, within connect is uh, not designed for uh, building uh, 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 business intelligence dashboards so incorrect answer we'll look at option b and d together b says amazon q for business d says amazon q for developers both these options doesn't exist in um, aws so these two are invalid choice we are left off with option c it says amazon q in quick site amazon q in quick site enables user to build a bi dashboard using natural language making it perfect for non-technical business analyst hence this is the correct answer so we got a brainstorming question this time it's all about sharing and managing model variables so we'll first look at option a it is siege maker feature store all the options interestingly contain siege maker so that is the interesting part so it will test your uh, concepts on siege maker basically so siege maker feature store is specifically designed to store and share machine learning features making it ideal for ensuring consistency and collaboration across teams that is what is the question is also looking for let's park this we'll move to option b b says siege maker data wrangler siege maker data wrangler focuses on data preparation and transformation not on uh, centralized management of model variables so this is out let's move to option c this is siege maker model monitor siege maker model monitor is used for monitoring model performance and detecting drift not for uh, sharing variables what the question is looking for so incorrect let's move to option d dc siege maker clarify siege maker clarify focuses on bias detection and model explainability uh, and again it's uh, clarify cannot be used for managing and uh, sharing features the wrong answer we are left out with option a siege maker feature sure and it is the correct answer so please 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 don't go away let's meet in next part of the series where we'll cover fresh sets of 
hands-on related to artificial intelligence in AWS and also some practice tests.